The powerful 7.4 magnitude tremor shook the island's east coast, hitting at 7.58 a.m. local time 18 kilometers, 11 miles, south of Hualien City, and at a depth of 34.8 kilometers, 21 miles, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. It was followed by several strong aftershocks with tremors felt across the island, including by CNN staff in the capital, Taipei. Taiwan's National Fire Agency said at least seven people were killed, 736 injured and 77 others remain trapped in road tunnels following the quake. The severity of the injuries remains unclear. Rescuers in Taiwan scrambled to free dozens of people trapped in highway tunnels. The 400-meter Jinwen Tunnel, where 60 people are trapped, is one of more than a dozen that thread the Suhua Highway, a scenic but treacherous and narrow road. Wednesday's quake is the strongest to hit Taiwan since 1999, according to the Central Weather Administration. Thousands of homes left without power and a major highway closed due to landslides and rockfalls according to Taiwanese officials. Collapsed buildings, highway damaged. The full extent of the damage is still being assessed, with road and rail closures curtailing access to the quake's epicenter in Hualien County. The quake sparked tsunami warnings across the region as authorities ordered evacuations. Several hours later, the U.S. Tsunami Warning Center said the tsunami threat had largely passed, but people in coastal areas should remain alert.